Hello friends, my name is Tushar and today we're going to talk about the question number without consecutive ones in binary representation. So the question is given and find the total number of numbers from 0 to 2 raised to n minus 1 such that the numbers do not have consecutive ones in their binary representation. So for example here I have n is equal to 2 so I have numbers from 0 to 3. So let's see how many numbers do not have consecutive ones in their binary representation 1, 2 and 3. So when is equal to 2 you should return 3. Notice how this one has 1, 1 consecutive ones in their binary representation. Let's see n is equal to 3. So here we have 5 numbers who do not have consecutive ones in their binary representation while the other 3 numbers 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1 do have consecutive ones in their binary representation. So when n is equal to 3 you should return 5. So how do we solve this? We'll use, this is a very simple implementation of a Fibonacci series. Let's see how it's a Fibonacci series. Here I have a binary representation for 4 bits number. So this goes from 0 to 15. So this is 0 to 7 and this is 8 to 15. Alright, so let's see how it's a Fibonacci series. So let's look at this half. For this half, notice how we are adding 0 in front of 3's binary representation. So these numbers are exactly the same as this number, only that I added 0 in front of them. So the number of ones, number of numbers who do not have consecutive ones here will be exactly the same as this guy, so 5. Because 0 is not going to contribute to the uh, uh, to 1, so the 0 will not cause any number to become consecutive 1. So we are just pretty much looking at representation from 0, 0, 0 to 1, 1, 1. And we already calculated that number is 5, the total number of numbers. Let's see for this half. Here, four numbers were already ending with 1s and we added 1 in front of them. So in the 3s representation, four numbers were already ending with 1s and we added 1 in front of them. So these four numbers, you can directly rule them out because they have consecutive 1s. So this four number is gone. We'll not need them. What about the rest of the four numbers? So these guys do contribute. These guys do have numbers who do not have consecutive ones. So how do you find them? Here, see how we have four numbers left here and we have already calculated what is the number when we have four numbers left, which is for two. So this number here is two. So here we are looking at the total number of uh, numbers who do not have consecutive ones will be what we already calculated for 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, which is this. So the total for n is equal to 4 will be 5 plus 3 is equal to 8. Notice how f of 4 was equal to f of 3 plus f of 2. Alright, if I was calculating 5, n is equal to 5, all I have to do is sum up f of 4 plus f of 3. So this is uh, 8 plus 5, so 13. So this is how it's a Fibonacci series. The formula for Fibonacci series is pretty straightforward. f of n is equal to f of n minus 1 plus f of n minus 2. If you want the full solution for this problem, go to my GitHub link, github.com mission piece interview wiki. And if you want to check out similar questions, go to my YouTube channel, youtube.com user to shortwrite2525. Thanks for watching this video.